Stoss 23 here, and today we got five new knives to show y'all. First one is coming from Tactile Knife Co. and uh, Matt Christensen collaboration. This is the Dread Eye. Um, I thought it looked cool. It's a nice EDC size fixed blade. Comes with a nice Kydex and a uh, nice tech lock system. And <laughs> this one. I don't know. I, I'm I'm really into the EDC fixed blades, and I thought it was you know just something kind of interesting. I'm not usually a Tanto fan, but I like Matt's work. Um, it's got that dual ground, which you can kind of see that faint line line right there, hopefully. And uh, this one is in a CPM Magna Cut. Got a super bulky bulky tip right there. Good good size in hand. It feels good in hand. God, I wish that was a drop point. Um, you got that beautiful milling that Tactile is known for. And this is Black Rich Light. It feel with that with that milling pattern, it feels just like G10. Um, a lanyard hole, full tank instruction. Everything's nice and rounded. Hopefully that's coming across right here. Beautiful contouring on the side. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Uh, the sheath is okay. Mine, it has a decent snap to it. No rattle, but it feels like it's loosening up the more I open and close it. Something I might have to fix later on down the road. So that's the first one. And after I show you all these in the in the comments, let me know which one y'all want to see a review on first. Um, that always helps out, and I definitely read every single one of them. So next up, we have the Best Tech Bahi. Bahai. I'm sorry, the Best Tech Bahai. This is... An O-stop held design, 14C 28 in blade steel. And I like how it's a little big knife for me because it got that full forward finger troil so I can get a four finger grip. And talk about a nasty, nasty little hawk bill right there. Whew, that could do some damage. But I'm going to try this out as an EDC blade um, because this would be great for, you know, getting into a box or something like that with that hook right there. Poke it in there, pull it down. Or cutting into something it's going to trap that's what that recurve is good for it's going to trap into the material and deeper go deeper and deeper into it so definitely like to see how this one does uh best text quality is always top notch say top flipper you can you can kind of reverse flick it it's not the easiest if you wanted to you could slow roll it but that top flipper with that jimping is the the best deployment in my opinion inset uh inset liner lock there and as you can see it's just a locking leaf and then on the other side you just have a little small um little small skeletonized piece of stainless that's inset in there so a uh, good little weight on it uh black g10 backspacer so yeah <laughs> i'm interested to test this one out see how it does we have another one coming from best tech and that is the best tech Sliv sliver slither i'm sorry slither and i think this is an in-house design for them and this is a nice full-size edc knife it's also in 14c that's what kind of attracted me they sent me these um the only one that i bought myself was that edc fixed blade the rest of these were sent to me by these companies to review and test um, i like the blade shape it uh kind of reminds me of um the richard rogers SLT blade shape or the Devo uh, mash, is it? Yeah, I think so. Nice and deep carry pocket clip that is in set, as you can see. Uh, multi layered G10 that is contoured. I'll tell you what, it's comfortable in hand. You got good access to a lock bar. Nice and smooth action. Nice and snappy action. Uh, yeah, this one I think is going to be a good user. The only thing I've noticed so far that uh, that's a that's a nitpick for me is how they've done this sharpening trial. I don't know if you can see that faint line, but that plunge line goes right there. So it's going to have to be opened up later on. Let's see, can I do it? There's the backspacer right there. Yeah. So at least I can fix it because they put the backspacer way up there. So. If I want to extend that sharpening notch right here, I can easily do that with a Dremel or file or something. So yeah, that one, that one's kind of exciting. And we got two new ones from Concept, and both of these I, I'm I'm liking so far. The first one is the Concept Arcus 
another O stop held design. And I'm gonna say, as soon as I got this out of the out of the package, I am blown away on how extremely light this is. I think it's like 2.6 ounces. I'm not the biggest fan of this uh, in this G10 inlay. I'm not a green fan, but it's got um, peel ply G10 insert on both sides. Titanium frame. It's a flipper. Nice, nice flipping action. Initial thoughts and hands feel good. Got a mill titanium pocket clip. You know, Stop Hell does some cool designs. There's his logo right there. For the name, they got a nice stone wash on this one. This one's an S35 VN. It also comes in a Damascus. <coughs> and uh, flipping action is really good. Smooth. Perfectly centered. This is just a good EDC knife. You know, it's nice and slim and sleek. Nice and lightweight. Uh, hopefully this blade slice is decent. It's not going to be the thinnest grind because it's a sharp, flat grind. Been great there in the hollow here, but you can see down here that it's going to be a pretty thick by that tip. But we'll see. We'll see how it performs. I'm hoping it performs great because I, I like the knife. And yeah, there's that one. We got one more concept, and this is the Concept Integra. They they put the lightning finish on here, and I must say I've seen the lightning finish from several companies now, and this is probably. Between them and Wee Knives, this is probably one of the best. Because um, I used to do this finish, and it's not really, I'm not really a fan of it anymore because I kind of got tired of it from doing it for so many people. And uh, in order to get it to pop like that, you have to mirror polish the titanium, which is not, not an easy feat if you've ever tried. Titanium's hard to polish, uh, especially by hand. But check this out, nice minimal flipper tab. And they went all out with the bling here. Got the Damascus blade. I'm not sure what they use as Damascus. <clears throat> if, if I remember correctly, I think it's the 9CR. Um, I don't know what the price are on any of these. I haven't checked yet. I'll know for the full review. But it is beautiful. It's like a raindrop Damascus. And this is a JK Knives collaboration. I love the overall look to it. This is a nice full-size knife. I like how they did the sharpening trawl right here. I, I, I'm gonna have some sharpening life. It feels decent, decently ground. Now it is a flat grind, so it's gonna thicken up rather quickly after sharpening. The action on this thing is amazing. And that's one thing, this is one reason why I don't like it. Once you get your hand oils on it, you see how it looks all splotchy. All you do is wipe it down with rubbing alcohol or Windex. Uh, one thing that I've noticed about whenever I did this finish on knives, is that the action always improved dramatically. I don't know if it's because <clears throat> you got to heat up, you know, you're flaming this side. It's, a you know, getting this side hot, both sides that you're dipping. And I, I think it's weakening that spring tension a little bit. Um, not Nothing you'd probably notice, um, but I think it's weakening it just a hair, and that makes it, even more smooth than it would be originally. Uh, you could yeah, you could choke up there. If you wanted to grab right there, do like a like a pistol grip right there. Access to the lock bar is not bad, even though it's flush. I can get because of how wide those cutouts are, I can get my finger in there nicely. And talk about man, this action is just beautiful. It just feels like there's no resistance whenever you, you close it by yourself like that. Yeah. Mill tie clip. That goes nicely with the knife. It's black on this one. Now, if, if Damascus isn't your thing, it's probably not what, I, you know, if I would have bought these myself, I probably wouldn't have bought the Damascus, especially because the other version in non-Damascus is in M390. I think I would have rather an M390, depending on the price points. You know, if this one is considerably cheaper, then, I don't know, maybe. <coughs> but overall, that... That's the five knives that I have in for review or four that I have in for review and one of my own. Tell me which knife y'all would like to see a review on first. We got the two best techs, the two concepts, and we have the tactile uh, dread eye. 
And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Hey, hey, hey.